What should I do, boss? Kill her! Good evening, Barbara. Alright, hello everyone, Wardfire here, and we are going to be playing Noir Chronicle City of Crime now. Uh, collector's edition, because, um, I don't know if this is what I have. Um, she had two differently colored eyes there, Barbara, if you saw that. And, uh, that was, that was creepy. Intro. Um, I don't know about this detective right here, I don't know if this is the person we're playing or something, but, uh... Needs to do something about uh, this office. Like, what's with the shoe just randomly here? Is this is this a rose just here? Like, come on, come on, clean your space. At least organize it a bit. So let's play. Uh, yes, I would like to start with a bonus game, please. No, here we go. Uh, casual is fine. Hello? Fox! I'm in trouble! He's gonna kill me! Please, hurry! Taxi! 29th November Street, quickly! <laughs> Alright, we are at. So we are playing as. Alfred Fox and the dude need, really needs to clean up. Would you like some interactive help? Sure, why not go for the full tutorial? Let's do it. Sometimes you can pick up items from the location. Pick up this plank. Ooh, what is this eye? You can use items from the inventory. Use the plank to reach the lantern. Uh huh. Composite items are marked with a plus or a minus. Plus sign shows that there is an action available. Minus sign means that nothing can be done at this time. Thank you. Make that clear. I it, it's it annoys me when you have comp when you have plus items like this and it's like it, you're supposed to be able to tell if you can do something with it now or not. But in a lot of games you can't. Like for some reason to me Apex games doesn't show clearly if you can do something with the item or not. So you're just standing there just like okay I don't know if I can do something with it or not because like there's this like teensy weensy little difference that I can barely make out. Here it's like, it's a plus or a minus. Thank you for making it clear. Thank you. So, rant. And now it's the minus on it. I love it. I can't open this with my bare hands. It is too hot. If you get stuck, you can always use a hint, which will direct you to the next action. You can zoom in to examine this the area in more detail. You can view your objectives in the diary. Enter the house. Find the missing tokens and open the front door. Okay. What is this eye? Don't know yet. It is locked. Ah, the key isn't there. Okay. And a thing. Gate key. How to catch a millionaire. A recent survey showed that most women still dream of marrying a millionaire. How far would you go to get a rich man? Um. Uh, eh. But I, I totally get it. Oh, hello. Wow, that crow scared me! Click on the backyard to get to another location. Return to previous location. Thank you. Throughout the game, you will encounter several types of collectibles. Handprints, footprints, footprints, and fingerprints. The eye is an indicator that shows if you have found all the collectibles on the location. In the location. 
in the location. I'm sorry, it's in the location. But yeah, click to continue. Look, now it's like it's open or it's closed. It's so clear. Again, some games, when they, they show if you got a collectible or not, but it's not clear because it's like, I don't know, I can only remember Mr. of the World 11 right now, but it's like, the lizard was brown or gray, and it's like, there are two distinct colors, but it's not that clear, especially if you don't know beforehand. No one has like, really told you which one is which. You have to kind of guess. It's like, this makes it clear. Because, like, brown and gray are two very neutral colors anyway. Here it's like, the eye is open or it's closed. Like, you can't miss it. Nice. Thank you, uh, big game studio, I think the developer was in Artifix Mundi. Love it. Clear. Give me clear instructions. Clear UI. Just make my life easier as a player. Because that's not what I want to do when I'm playing a game. Try to figure out what the UI means. I just want to play the game. So. Uh, but we can go to the backyard. Can't really click anything here. Oh, Froggy. <gasps> Actually, he's probably a toad. Ermagerd. We can click it forever. Okay, here's actually a thing. It's stuck! No. This is a very funny door knock. Whoa, where is she? I wish I knew where the spare key was. Hold on, Barbara. Wow, the tokens are missing. Okay, then. That's an elaborate door lock. Which is fine. Door knocker. Okay. I want that. Haha, -ha, thank you. Oh, this is just. I can just click it for fun? Oh, that's so cool. Ah, uh, something must be hidden behind this plank. I just have to figure out how to pull the nails out. Yeah. Oh my god, it's just it's just clickable for fun! I love it! Whoever made this, thank you. For putting like effort. Or, like, whoever thought this was a good idea, it's a great idea. It is a great idea. Anyways. Random wallet. Okay. Uh, the handle from this vice is gone. I never suspected Barbara I knew how to use tools. Wow, thanks. But I guess. <gasps> Can I click it again? No? Wait, why was there a big question? I can flatten something with this. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> we can collect things! Okay. I need a screwdriver or something like that. Oh, wait, garden shears. Here. I'm already excited about this game. It looks cool. It looks. It's feel, it feels different, it feels like. Yeah. Fun. Uh, broken umbrella and a good UI, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, did I need something to reach something? No. Can I flatten this? No. Well, look at. I feel as if like somebody's watching me. Also, I love the accents, but uh, yeah. No oh, wait, screwdriver. Here. That's close. When the sparkle appears over a certain area, it means that you can look closer to see if you can find something useful. Find all the items on the list. Objects in blue will require an additional action before you can find them. Some items change shape after a couple of seconds. Those are morphing items. I clicked that like three times, but thank you. Yin yang. There we go. Do I need clovers? Yes, I do. I 
got an achievement. Three and three. Um, I can see it in Steam. Oh, crowbar. Do I need it? Yes, I do. Elephant. Medicine, matches, sausage, rose, cup, and pig. Medicine, matches, sausage, cup. Medicine, sausage, cup. Sharp eye! Oh, we got the crowbar! And three and three. Okay, here I'm getting the achievements in game too. Yay! Here we go. This is your map. You can use it to check your current location, available actions, or fast travel to other places. Thank you. Oh, that is very helpful. Here's a key. Oh? Okay. Interesting. Oh. Oh god. Okay. We doing it like this now. Um, yeah, hello, thanks. Uh, don't do that, please. <sighs> oh, apparently I want to set this on fire, I guess. Okay then. Um hmm. Wait, is there something morphing here? Is that a thing in every scene? I presume so since they described it, but Oh, it's actually you. Oh no. Oh the morphing object is actually one of the things that you need to find every time. Okay, cool. Um, okay, what is this last thing? Like, I don't even understand what it is I'm looking for. Is it this? Oh, okay. It's a candle. Alright, door token. Let's go. You will be provided with the instructions for the minigame in the bottom, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, nope. Well, uh, okay, fine, you can skip. Blah, blah. Lead the tokens through the maze. Use the arrows to move them around. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Um... Okay. Mhm. Mm oh, oh. They're okay. I I didn't real I thought they might not uh lock in when you got them to the end, but they do, so that made it a lot easier. That's good. Alright, enter the house! Ah, Barbara! Oh dear. Barbara? Barbara! Barbara! My goodness, Barbara! I'm late! Please, forgive me. I'd better call the police. I guess we're gonna do things to the cr <laughs> search the crime scene. Then we call the police. I'd better call the police. 
Okay, we're not gonna, we're just gonna search her, yeah. Wait, how? Wait, did, oh, oh, here's a phone. Okay. 911, what's your emergency? This is Alfred Fox, a private investigator. I want to report a murder. The address is 29th November Street. Help is on the way. Well, that was very calm. But I guess. All right. How much more to do? Wow, this is one creepy painting. Look at this. What is this creepy thing? Oh, I thought this was like a door. It's actually just a mirror. Okay. Don't disturb the crime scene. Or something like that. Can't blame me for trying. Are you sure? Oh, that's that. No, I don't see anything to do here, so... Uh, no, it's gotta be in here, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize there was actually water in the vase. Alright, cool. Explains things. I suspect that the person this hand belongs to must have something to do with Barbara's murder. Who so, is this guy? Quite a random suspicion, but... Who is this guy? Do not know. Some kind of cat-shaped item goes here. Okay. Can't always be right. Oh. photo album. We made it together. Oh, we want to find the things that are here, I think. Where's the last one? Oh, here. The first thing that I thought about Barbara was that she was beautiful. But there was something about her that terrified me. It could have been her pride, or perhaps the unease she felt reading those admiration cards. I couldn't understand her fear until I read them as well. I knew what I had to do, and I had to be quick, quiet. Okay, that does not sound good. But uh, we'll see whatever he is meant here. Oh. Oh, there. The task was done. I made sure the threatening letters would not bother Barbara anymore. She was safe once again. It pleased her that I was so efficient. So much that she perhaps thought I could make a good toy to keep around for a while. And I believed it to be love. Ah, yes, yes. So she was being threatened. Yep. Oh. That is a one very creepy hand. Ugh. Barbara was a diva with a beauty, glamour, and a big bright smile. But she was human, too. She had weaknesses and flaws like everyone else. 
though for a long while, in my eyes, she was nothing short of perfect. In time, I woke up from a daydream, and, well, you can say that circumstances tore us apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Repeat the sequence of punches in order to win the fight. You will have to repeat the process three times. Wake up, Fox. I need to speak with you. Oh. Okay. Why are you on the crime scene? What's your excuse? Choose the correct answer by selecting the desired yellow button and then confirm the answer by pressing the green button. Whoever asked me for help, you can check that if you look at the call log. She called me and I called you. I moved here. Barbara asked me for help. You can check that if you look at the call log. Where were you around 3 o'clock tonight? She called me, so at home, obviously. At home, I sleep, slept in my own bed. You sound like a jealous wife. At home, I slept in my own bed. What was your relationship with the victim? No, we don't have one. But if you already know that, Conrad... But you already know that, Conrad, if you're implying that I committed a crime of passion. We used to date. We used to date. Do you suspect someone in particular? She knew she was in danger, and somebody was here when I came in, but I didn't see him well. I suppose I'm a suspect. The city's full of scum, they're all suspected. She knew she was in danger, and somebody was here when I came in, but I didn't see him well. Why should I let you leave? What is your alibi? Investigate and you will realize. In a pool of blood next to her, you had a footprint. You may notice that this footprint is significantly bigger than mine. After all, who knocked me unconscious if Barbara is dead? If you need any more of my time, we can go for a cup of coffee. In a pool of blood next to her, you had a footprint. You may notice that his footprint is significantly bigger than mine. After all, who knocked me unconscious if Barbara is dead? Don't be a fool and stay out of this case. Daily Chronicles, right away. Okay, I'm sorry. Did you see what it said on that card? Did it actually say that her name is Barbara Lepur? Oh my god, such a cat person. Love it. Okay, but we're over time, so we're gonna talk to this uh, this person in the next episode. Uh, maybe the voice are a little low. I'll try to tweak that, but uh, this uh, seems cool right now. And like the uh, choose your answers thing with the dialogues looks, looks kind of cool too. Especially that some of the answers sounded a little like sassy and also like a little flirty. Is that just me? I don't know. Um... So yeah, this looks like a cool adventure, so hope y'all are enjoying it as well. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see ya!